These are my best mates, Egbert, Doc and Felix. Together, for the last 15 years, we've been travelling around Australia and meeting lots of different people and getting lots of different stories. Now I'd like to share them with you. Always here, standing strong. Tears I can see You're the better part of me When everyone chose to walk away You were the only one to stay Standing beside me all these years You were always here Can you start by introducing yourself? Okay. Where we are in Australia. Yep. And then the names of your dogs. <laughs> as quick as you can. <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> okay. okay, my name is Gloria Morales and I live in Juendema, Northern Territory in Australia, 300 kilometres northwest of Alice Springs. What an amazing woman. She lives 300 kilometres out of Alice Springs in an isolated Aboriginal community and she's saving dogs and rehoming them all around Australia. She works in the local community art centre and helps the Indigenous people share their artwork with the rest of the world. She's had over a thousand dogs come through her home in the last 10 years. It's a truly inspirational story about a woman from Chile who comes to this country and goes out there to rescue dogs. This is the craziest time of the day because as soon as I get home, they're ready, you yeah. know. So we are going to open the gate. There is only a few dogs that are in the front area. Yeah. Tinkerbell and then all of the other ones are inside the house or, you know, the back. So when the door of the inside of the house, I, when I do open the house door, just stand aside <laughs> because it's a rush. <laughs> Oh, this is fabulous. I, uh, I travel all over the country looking for weird and wonderful stories about dogs and I think I've just hit the jackpot. <laughs> Do you normally take them for a drive every, or a ride? Every night. Every night at this time? At this time. As soon as I finish work, come here and there is no way that I could go and say, sit down and rest because this is what's happened when I get here so they're ready to go for a walk it's like, so it's better to just take them and relax here in the walk and then come back and then they are a lot happier how many dogs are in the car at the moment uh 20 20 exactly yeah oh yeah okay oh, that was okay let's go let's go let's go let's go that's just out of control. I, I've never seen anything like it. I'm, I'm looking through the back window of the, of the Land Cruiser and it's, the frame in the picture is just full of dogs and this woman putting her head amongst them and the, it's just crazy. It's out of control. I've never seen anything like it. I'm so buzzed about it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And just the dogs look excellent. They're just this mix of mongrels and little dogs and big dogs and scruffy dogs and fat dogs. And, Man, that, uh, that is something else. And I've been meaning to come in here for so long and I'm so glad I'm here now because uh, I've just got some killer pictures and we have, we've hardly even started. Let me know. How many dogs do yeah. you have at the moment? I think this 32. 32. I think. But last week we had I had 42 because I was looking after 10 extra. Oh, you're special. You are special. I have had dogs that I lost one. He was mentally disabled and physically disabled. And when I lost him, I 
felt like there was 10 dogs missing. At that point, I had to count how many dogs I had because I saw that there was like a, where are all of them? Where are they? Yeah. So normally I, I get out of here because even though they, are, they harass the, they harass the wildlife. I do, yeah. Yeah. They're dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Two weeks is my maximum time of being away from them. After two weeks, I'm thinking, oh, something is going wrong. Oh, how are they? What is going? What is happening with them? What have this done? What you know? It's, I just cannot enjoy the holidays anymore. Fourteen days is like my limit. Oh, I can't do it any longer. Perfect. <laughs> They know that I go around feeding dogs that need to be fed. They know that if a dog is sick, they could come easily to me and say, can you look after it? They know that if their dogs get run over, that they can call me and say, my dog got run over, can you come and see how she's going? You know, That's, that is different. Yeah. Of course, it's a lot of work for me, but I wouldn't change it for anything. You are a beautiful person. <laughs>